This is a torque converter that's been cut open. This part here is called the impeller. This is the part that actually slides into the transmission. And then all of the other parts load in to the impeller here. So the fluid coupling happens in this, this part of the, the torque converter. This is what turns and creates the hydraulic pressure for the, uh, the torque converter. This part here is called the stator. It's the turbine inside here that turns and directs fluid pressure. And then this is called the sprag. And the sprag is kind of a one-way clutch that, that turns inside. See, it'll turn one way, but it won't turn the other way. And is what happens with this is every once in a while you'll get a torque converter that they, if they ever told the, the sprag laid down, uh, is what happens is this sprag uh, will turn both ways. So something inside of this sprag has, has gone bad and will allow that torque converter to turn both ways. And when that happens, most likely you'll get a problem where the trans will try and kill the motor when you're coming to a stop. So that's what this part does here. And that loads in there like that. This part here is called the turbine. And it's very similar to this portion here where it loads on top of the sprag and all the fluid coupling happens within this section of the torque converter. There's a washer that goes in here. And that loads in there like that. This part here is called the clutch. And the reason it's called the clutch is this, this lining right here is actually a, a clutch type material. So if they ever, if you're told that the clutch came apart, most likely is what happened is this piece here has either come delaminated or came apart on this clutch surface and this lining has peeled off of here. Uh, this particular one only has one clutch lining. That clutch lining when the torque converter goes into what's called lockup mode, that clutch applies against this rear cover, and that's what causes lockup. And as what lockup is, is an automatic transmission. Until they go into lockup, there's a certain amount of slipping that goes on in the transmission. And when it goes into lockup, is what that torque converter is trying to do, is it's trying to basically go to, to a one-to-one -one gear. So it's trying to match the engine RPM to the car so so it's more efficient and the transmission isn't slipping. So that sprag or that clutch loads in here like that. And then that rear cover goes on there. And is what they do is they come in here after it's all together and assembled and then they'll put a weld around these two covers here and then they'll put it on a balancer and uh, make sure that it's balanced. And then they'll also do uh, their leak checks and, and there's a, a machine that uh, can put fluid pressure in there to make, up, make sure that the lockup clutch is working and everything is working properly. So that is the way a torque converter works.